don't know how people get their like nudges piece. I mean, how oh, do yeah, they do through that? the shaft? Yeah, oh, that would kill. And why do you want to do that? More pleasure for the female, probably. The female of the species. I don't know. Is I it? guess if it was on your, the end, if it was on your bell, it would wreck though, wouldn't it? Yeah, it'd be awful, but... Imagine if you did that and then like you had your belly, you know, your widget No pierced, pain, no gain, and then no, isn't it? had a vibrating dinghy. That would be interesting. That would be amazing, actually. That'd probably be good, wouldn't it? Should we all go and do that after this? Let's do that. Yeah. We'd probably go down as legends in the music industry and be like, oh I my god, so, yeah. we've got to sleep with those guys. <laughs> yeah. They've got vibrating, probably, willies. Yeah. Sell some more units. Sell some, yeah, maybe. <laughs> We are supporting Radiohead in Paris. In that. No, yeah. not in Paris, in France. Oh, just outside of Paris. Yeah. So, that's really going to be good. monumental. Pa uh, Radiohead, Sigur Ross, and us. And also, uh, it's like, I've never heard of something like Mori, Mori Face. Oh, yeah, Morrissey. Oh, that's it, yeah. Yeah, that's going to be pretty serious. Supporting him in Hyde Park. Yeah. And that's us, Beck and Morrissey. Yeah, actually, last night, um, had a nice chat to uh, this girl from New Mexico and uh, she had tattoos all over her and I was like, oh God, like body art over here is like really, really hot, like it seems like everyone's, I don't know, have you got a tattoo? You, you did, you did no. fancy her a little bit as well, didn't you? No, it wasn't, no, yeah. Just told me. She was really pretty, like, but it wasn't, it was nothing to do with that. <laughs> you didn't want to see what was No, going no, on. anyway, she had tattoos and stuff on and uh, I was like, whoa, whoa, and she had them all down her back <clears> and um, she had this, did like, she show you them? Yeah, she had a boat. She looked uh, like a female. See a bit of crack as well. Oh, sorry, she looked a bit like a female person of Ben Davila. Really? Yeah. Of so she, proper fit then. Yeah. 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 Anyway, she had um, a big boat on her back, and then um, she lifted up a top at the back, and there was an oh, right, a big yeah. octopus. Like, and I was, I was like, what's the meaning of all this? And she was like, it's protecting. Like, it was a bit, you know, t her. There was a ship. Um, that was her life and the octopus was protecting her, that's kind of what she was going for. Anyway, so I said, alright, I want a protective monster as well to look after me, I think everyone should have one. Um, and so I made up this monster and she drew it and it's, um, it had the legs of a goat. Oh, here's, look, Dan's protective monster checklist, you see that? So I, this was the checklist that I gave her and there was uh, legs of a goat, arm number one was of an octopus, arm two was a wolf, just for some, you know, sturdiness. The head was a mouse with the mane of a lion, <coughs> peacock feathers, and a mermaid's body, and there it is. So that's my uh, that's my protective monster right there. I'd love to do a James Bond one. Oh, that would be amazing. amazing. Yeah. We just would you ever betray me? <laughs> no, I'd never betray you. Something um, like that kind of. And we we did um we played the Royal Art Hall recently. We had like a brass section and strings. And um, moving to New York, one of the songs was like it proper. Once the trumpets came in, it had like a prop, like a, it was sort of leaning towards James Bondy territory, and it was uh, it was so much fun doing it. Well, apparently teenagers went down well, didn't they? Did one gig went down well, yeah, and the drummer good. left the next day, so they had to cancel the rest of the tour. She just flew back to Paris, didn't she? And didn't tell the band. Yeah. And she just, just left. You're gonna wake her up, and she, but they, she wasn't they, there. They sent us an email and said we're really sorry. Like you know, they are, I think because I think it's session drummers they get. Right. They're like musicians, so they'll you know they'll be able to find another one. But obviously they've got to learn all the songs. Who would play me? Probably Matthew McConaughey. Probably. Really? Yeah. Because I've got depth. Right. <laughs> and you know it. Yeah. Yeah. But well, you know it as well. No, I'd I'd get um. I'd see if uh, what's um, the Edwin Ed van der Ed Edwin van der Sar, Manchester United goalkeeper. I'd see if he, if, if what his acting skills are like, just because he looks like I look quite similar to him, but he's taller, so maybe um, maybe people would think I was taller in real life, and they might like that. Yeah, people might like that, and I'd have bigger hands because he's a goalkeeper, so maybe they'd think that was a good thing as well. Yeah. You know what they say about big hands? Well, bigger high fives. Yeah. yeah. We could branch off into porn. One so. batting. Yeah. Yeah. What would oh, your name be if you were a porn star? Absolutely one batted last night. It was yeah. crazy. Yeah, <laughs> still haven't come down from it. Yeah, be amazing. It'd be great though. You, we could be so, you could be so lazy, couldn't you? Just switch it on and just lie there for a bit and like. Maybe you'd still have to get a heart. You'd still have to get erect. Just take a few Viagra. Yeah. That'd be a good life, actually. It'd be so easy. It'd be great, wouldn't it? And then we'd have our own porn line as well. Yeah. What would you know, it be and, and a phone line as well, where we yeah. can talk dirty. Yeah. And talk about how how uh, yeah. What it's like to get one battered. Yeah. Probably make loads, we wouldn't even have to do music anymore. 
Yeah. Well, actually, we could make the jingles when Seven people ring girls up. Seventeen like, get one batted. Yeah. We could see how many. Or fifteen girls and three guys get one batted. Yeah. Would you one bat guys as well? <sighs> you would, wouldn't you? I guess it, if you've got, if you've got such a kind of amazing um, phallus, phallus is. That's what we're talking about. It would be rude not to spread the love as far yeah. as you could physically do. G spots. I don't think I'd, I don't think I'd go. You know, I don't think I'd go anywhere else. I wouldn't go. You know, into darker, darker corners of the um, sexual psyche. But right, not like dominatrix and all that. Oh no, I mean like yeah, as long as it's with uh, a human. Oh, you wouldn't go yeah. down the animal route. No, no, no. Well, they don't get all. pleasure from sex anyway, do they? Only of dolphins, they do. apparently. Do they? Do they? Yeah. No, no. Dolphins are the only ones that have casual sex. Yeah, because they enjoy it. Yeah. We're not as like fun go lucky as uh, the majority of people would think. I think. I think we are. <laughs> do you think so? Like, oh, I don't, I don't feel like I am, but when, when we're when we're all together, we do. Yeah, like, yeah. We are the way we are, but it's not never, separately. Like, it's never put on like. Yeah. Jowl and head of gold and gay and all that. It's all the time. Mm. It's pretty much all the time. Solid. But it's because of the way like we're on tour all the time. So to keep saying on in this in the bubble, we just don't know. We find that uh, yeah, the, the the absurd kind of gets us through it, but yeah, of course. But obviously, when people are on their own, hmm. they're not mad. Or, like, what are they gonna do? Like, what are you gonna do? Sit in your room and like dance on your own? Some people <laughs> would. No, they wouldn't. Some people would. <laughs> 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 I'm pretty sure you were sitting in front of the mirror doing Edgar Allan Poe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, probably. We get to red. Like, if we have a few remember, days yeah. off, when you film yourself on on your phone doing. Oh, yeah, that was I was had a severe oh. hangover that day. What was I sing? I was going. <laughs> yeah. I remember what I was doing. We used to leave each other like long phone messages of just the most ludicrous, like huge, big sentences that went on for like twenty minutes. Hi, I hope you enjoyed um, working out what animal Pomwell Powell Jowell was, uh, or Little Jowell to his mates, um, and uh, good luck with that. But we've got another one which is kind of more. Um, performance based so for any budding dancers out there or just uh, artists or you know if you think you've got what it takes to be on the wombat factor or if you've got the wombat factor uh, prove it to us send us a video over of you um, break dancing in your room or on the street or wherever um, freestyle break dancing even if you can't break dance hi wombats back on uh, back on uncensoredinterview.com um, which isn't a porn site by the way uh, and we've got another quest or challenge for you. Basically, to keep ourselves fairly sane, we like to, because we run out of things to say to each other sometimes, so what better thing to do than just pull the most ludicrous face you can possibly think of. Um, so our challenge for you is to, um, well actually let's introduce you to a friend of ours, uh, his name's Ed Golden Gee, who we met in Sydney, and um, he's, he's sitting next to us here. That's it, and um, So basically the challenge is for you to do your interpretation of Ed Golden Gee, whether it looks like our faces or your own, you know, I'm sure you've got a face you like to pull. So if you could, um, yeah, send in photos or videos of the kind of the process behind making the face, such as, you know, well, you could talk people through it so that they can then learn how to do it. So you could say, well, first, you know, first things first, you get your, your chin, and also, stick and also, it out like that, yeah, and then then the eyes follow with a kind of hazy sort of, uh, you know, so that people can emulate it. And also, we'd like your conclusion on um, how well you rate yourself and how well, uh, how good an Ed Golden Gee face you actually performed. Hey y'all! Hey y'all! Um, Uncensoredinterview.com. We've got a few competitions for you guys to, uh, you know, test your luck at with your with your little, you know, phone cameras or whatever camera you've got. And you get some big prizes, and one of them is um, this is my rucksack. Um, he's also um, a living creature. He's called Jarwell or Pomwell or Little Jarwell Pomwell or just Little Powell. And we'd like you to tell us what kind of animal is he? Yeah. Uh, and you get a huge, like, monstrous prize as well. Which is like mainly, mainly consists of your own pride. But, but um, also, you know, really big stuff. Yeah, loads of, like, massive things. Like, yeah. material big things. Yeah. That you can, like, put on your walls and... Ride. Like, ride and eat. Yeah. Eating prizes. 
Um, um, so yeah, what animal is Pomwell? Hello, my name's Jawel. Jawel Pomwell. My friends call me Little Jawel. And my tail's pink and grey. Look! <laughs> and my eyes are space look like. But uh, welcome to uncensoredinterview.com and I'm here with my good friends, the Wombats. They look after me really well and they play with my tail. And I like dog willies and dog lipstick willies and chicken. Bye bye.